Chewy? Hey Diane. We are in Cocoa Beach. We're in Cocoa Beach and it's a new week, a new vlog. We have friends that retired and they have spent the last year sailing and living on their sailboat. So they're on their way back up the coast and they've come into Cocoa Village Marina to hold up for a couple days, stock up, refuel, do those kind of things. And she asked if we would like to come over and join them for dinner on the boat. We don't think we're gonna get to go out on the boat because it's quite windy on the water, so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, all right, she's texting me, so I need to put the camera down. Holy cannoli, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This is their boat. I thought you were in something like this. There's Bob, and that's his wife, Alexi. I was their maid of honor. Private dock. So should we shut this behind us? Yeah. I got it. Don't fall in the water. Look at all. Now, do you? Ha I'm guessing you have to pay for nights you're here. Oh yeah. 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 You pay usually per night and per foot. So depending on how big your boat is, you can pay more potentially. But this is a certain, pretty sweet gig, man. Yeah. I really cool. thought like you were in. Oh no, it's like a floating tiny house. Otherwise, I would have said, let's go out to dinner. Because you I don't really. Yeah. From what photos you posted, you do not get a sense of the is. size. It's and big. it's actually a relatively small it's express cruiser. a relatively cruiser. small one, actually. <laughs> huh? Lab. Well, lab. Wow. So here's the boat. Here we go. They shed a lot. They also have a lot of, they die of cancer, really. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. So you want to give the tour? Come on board. That's it. Yep. You got it. Take this is what I, it's the knee. Yeah. Take it slow, there we go. Okay. Oh, wow. So, this wow. is our side deck, which I'm not going to use. Look, they've today. got, they've oh, got yeah. plants. But we have our, we have our, you can see our bar. We'll do the little tour. This is our, our bar. Snack wow. Snackies and booze. And uh, this is way. super cool. Yeah. I, I just, ice. I, Got a maker. Oh, wow. We use it. We use it all the time. Um, and then, well, the, this, yeah. you know, I, I was imagining. Now you can understand then. why we'd stay on the boat for. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I would have gone stir crazy. <laughs> you go ahead. I'll follow. We, you know, yeah, well, yeah, we, we, we never got there this year. It's no. too complicated with the COVID uh, rules. And then we, did oh, some, we, yeah. have we have still have issues. some engine issues that aren't really? resolved. I mean, every day. Uh, so this is a boat, so something breaks every a, day. This one's older than our last boat. It's 25 years old. And yeah. so it uh, it wasn't really well cared for. Aww. And, you know, we run it every day for, you know, six, eight hours. And it's just been really hard on, on the engines. And they weren't in, in good shape to begin with. Well, I apologize for the abrupt ending of the boat tour. It has been quite a few years, maybe four years since I've seen them. And we just started talking and we put the camera down and that was the end of it. Where are you going, buddy? Do you want some water? I met Lexi. sometime in the 80s. I was maid of honor at her wedding. She and Bob married in 1992. Celebrating 30 years. Hi, sweetie. Do you smell the puppy dog? I know they had a puppy dog and he was slobbering all over me. So we've been friends a very long time. Chewie and I had flown to where they were living in Tennessee years ago when as an adult, Alexi decided she wanted to be bat mitzvahed. So yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of history there. 
Unfortunately, we couldn't go out on the boat because the winds are too high and it was very cold. So another time, we're actually going to go down to Key West in February. So it's gonna be a long way to wait for a vlog. But that's where they usually take the boat down in the winter. So I think we're gonna drive down and meet them and spend a couple nights on the boat and bop around the, the Keys. Yeah, that'll be fun. That was it for our Saturday evening. Chewie's gotta work very early in the morning. He's gotta be up at five. But before you know it, it'll be another day. In three, two, one. It is Tuesday and we have come to meet our friends here at Yellow Dog Eats. Here comes Chewy. I've gone through the jungle. So yeah, let's go. Co oh, sh uh! We really like their coconut cake here because look. Look at that. It looks like there's like a pudding there in the middle. Yum. How was it? And Caleb and Dennis got it. It looks like a creamsicle cake. It no longer looks like cake because we yeah. started eating we immediately. Started eating <laughs> Can I have a little bite? He says it's really good. I like it. It's good. It's very, very moist. Oh, yeah. So, did you enjoy Yellow the Dog Eats? Yes. That it's not good. Very good. Overpowering. Too overpowering. They really like their tacos. And I, I don't think. Did you order tacos here once? I could have sworn you did. One of these days we're gonna have to get over here when this baby's fired up. Oh yeah. Look at all that wood down there. It was great seeing Caleb and Dennis today. You're gonna see a lot of them in the coming weeks because they are here through the end of March. We're seeing them tomorrow night, as a matter of fact, and uh, we're gonna take them over to Disney property and show them how to see Disney without going in the parks. We'll bring you along for that. But I'm excited for them to stop over tomorrow because this will be the first time Andy sees anyone he knows from back home. The boys used to cat sit for Andy whenever we went on vacation. They would actually come and stay in our apartment. So I'm, I'm hoping he's, he's jumping up on the TV. So I'm, I'm hoping like he comes and like, you know, gives them some sort of recognition of some sort. Anyway, we just got back from Publix. Here's the grocery haul, $99. We got some bread. We got some low sodium boarhead ham, bananas. I got two types of strawberries. These are local Florida, but these are from Plant City, which is between us and Tampa. And I know that they have the Strawberry Festival every March. For some reason, I had it in my calendar happening in the second half of March, but alas, it just ended. So I wanted to see how these tasted. I got a bunch of these. These are chocolate covered raisins. We really love them and they last us quite a while. So I just went ahead though. I, I kept, I forgot to buy them the last couple times we were there. Some honey crisp apples. Chewy needed some chapstick. My yogurt that I love is usually 10 for $9 and some change. 10 for five dollars and fifty cents so I bought more and we've been going through the hummus lately so I got the big family style and I love Gouda on Triscuits so we got two packages of that because as long as we don't open them they're good till November some whipping cream and then we got Cool Whip pound cake and some ice cream we're gonna make glorified strawberry shortcake for some people we're having over for dinner we finally after two and a half three months finished the last one of these that we got so 
we replaced it so that should take us up to the beginning of hot 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 season what do you smell huh we're just gonna relax here at home the rest of the evening we have to fill out paperwork we have eye appointments tomorrow I have been experiencing some pretty bad double vision it was really bad Saturday when we drove over to see our friends Bob and Alexa and I am hoping that he tells me it is from the Sjogren's disease that I have the two big side effects or the two big symptoms of Sjogren's is dry eye and dry mouth and I never really thought much about my eyes being that dry and then I as I was searching double vision and Chewie's on a phone call. I don't know if he's he's talking to work, and I don't know if they're gonna they're gonna say something that maybe I'll have to bleep out later. Plus, I'll show you my my flower. I'll show you my flower. My flower's blooming. <sighs> Squirrel. What was I saying? Sjogren's. So I was googling Sjogren's and double vision, and it kept coming up a lot about people will feel they have grit in their eye. And I started to think, you know, for like the last five years, I remember saying something to my eye doctor, you know, I never used to have this problem, but I always feel like I constantly am getting stuff in my eye nowadays. But the dry eyes can cause double vision. So we'll find out tomorrow and then maybe I can get a prescription eye drop. It wasn't too bad today when we went to Yellow Dog Eats to meet my friend. So fingers crossed. Meanwhile, these guys look at. Oh, I don't know what that is. See him flying around? Look at all the new growth. I should really come to this side. Look at all the new growth. Buds. more buds i'm sorry though i i missed him with water every day and it leaves some um, marks but look at this look how nice this is opening up finally and i have these three great big buds underneath very excellent so yeah there's tons of new stuff happening i think the plant is very happy with the fertilizer we've been putting on and this, I don't know if you can see, but there's some stuff. There's some stuff happening down there. I don't know if they're new leaves, if it's going to be flowers. I don't know enough about this plant. I need to put some more soil in there. His roots are getting a little exposed. But yeah, I'm really happy with, with how this is turning out. I take the spray bottle in a heavy stream and go after all the amphids every day. I'm going to have to look for that when we get off. So, so that's the plan update. Looking pretty good. We are here at Steakhouse 71. It is now Wednesday. Wednesday. And we have a, we have a special guest. It's Caleb and Dennis from New York, a.k.a. Andy's cat sitters, and of course, first and foremost, friends. So we are here at Steakhouse 71, and I brought them here for the French onion soup. Both boys got the soup, and we have some... We have some onion rings because I've always wanted to try them. I'm going to insert a picture of this when it first came to the table. It's called a sunshine punch. I'm going to insert the photo here. It is. It's really good soup. Sorry, they're like taking. They're taking bites of their soup. It's orange sherbet, Sprite, and house-made grenadine. It's very yummy. Are you loving this soup? Mm. Isn't it? It's, it's really so good. <laughs> it's one of the best on property. How's the uh, onion ring? 
Mm. Excellent. Chewy couldn't stand it. He smelled the boy's French onion soup and he got his own. And our entrees just came and Chewy got the chicken. There's there's a lot of like stuff on that, isn't there? There's it's airplane chicken. Which uh, that name is so weird to me. And I saved the soup for my entree. And the boys got steak. Those potato those mashed potatoes look amazing. It's, really it's not soup hot. You're not gonna burn yourself, but <laughs> Steak and mashed potatoes, and what did you get as your potato? A gratin. A gratin. Isn't that cool? Yum. Chewie was gonna get a steak, he kept changing his mind. I still love, 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 love the murals. Blair, how are you? We brought the boys out here to show them around. Hello, everyone, staying in Bay Lake Tower. Hello, Papi Chulo. We're alone in Monterey Black. There's the beautiful castle. fun watching the fireworks our friends loved it people are swimming that's the castle way off there in the center we're gonna have a dole whip and then mosey on over to the Grand Floridian and end up back at the contemporary it's been a lovely evening with our friends nice seeing them again and the Dole Whip has made an appearance. Sorry, no photos were taken in its perfect, uneaten form. <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. Look at this awesome thing, it's all chocolate. He's cool looking. There's all new fabric on the couches and the chairs. Look at that. Huh. It's 10.30 and they're waxing the floors on the second, on the second floor. Quarter till 12. We just got home. We had a lovely time with our friends Dennis and Caleb. They're here for another week and a half. So I have a feeling they're going to be making some more appearances in the upcoming vlogs. We hope you enjoyed our little jaunt around the deluxe resorts this evening. And we'll see you tomorrow in three, two, one. This is the house we almost bought. We were going to be able to move into it this month. We're in Claremont. Ah, oh. wasn't meant to be. Yeah. Wasn't meant to be. But we toured it before they put drywall in. Yeah. So they're still doing some building. Yeah.
I liked all the stonework. Ours wasn't going to get stonework, and I wanted the stonework. But we liked it because, look, behind us, there was not apartments. I mean, there was not more homes, sorry. Um, there was just the pool. But, like, look, our backyard would have been kind of nice. Is it yeah, the it was, third house, right? It was, I think... Is the third house. Yeah, right? it was the third house. I don't think this one had been started yet. Mm -mm. No, no, is this no it's it, this. It was this second, one. Yeah. It was the second one, because the living room was on this side mm -hmm. in the kitchen, and that would have been. But that the house is there had, doesn't have a soul sign. I think it's their house was a soul uh, sign. Oh well, but it, it. We met quite a few people here and talked to them, and they loved living here. And you can go out that way, or are you going back around mm -hmm. in front of it. But look how high up we are. There's an incredible breeze up here. Yeah. We got real excited about it, and the timing was just wrong, sadly. But it, and it also would have cost $450,000, so, oh well. And I really wanted stone. Maybe not, maybe it was the second one. Yeah, but that's the soul that's, sign. Yeah, yeah. soul sign, yeah. That was it. Somebody's a get out of our house. <laughs> oh well. And by the way, it's Thursday. We had to come to FedEx and we're halfway between two of them. One of them over on the other side of Windermere or over here in Claremont. And we really like I have a feeling we're gonna possibly end up in the Claremont area. Yeah, I think so. Um, especially the area between where we live now and before you get like into downtown Claremont. But look, mm -hmm. look how cute, like all the stonework is. See, I, I didn't care for this one as much. I like the blue color shutters though. But it was gonna be perfect, one floor. Yeah, I like the stone. But, um, over in the older home area of Horizon West, where Horizon West becomes Claremont, there's some beautiful homes on very large pieces of property that we would love to get. And look, there's a Publix right over there. Papa Jones. Look how pretty. This is Hancock Road. It's a north-south road. Um, 27 is to our right or west as we're driving south. So yeah, it's, it's quite lovely over here. We even looked at a 55 plus community called Heritage Hill. I, cause I have noise issues and I figured, you know, older people, they're going to be quiet and I know they had a lot of rules to follow. I'm a rules girl, so I was okay with that. But the HOA fees were $355 a month. And we were like, on top of a mortgage? Yeah, no. And the only thing in all of the, there's tons and tons of stuff to do there, but the only thing we would really use is the pool. And we just felt that that was way too much. I think we're gonna come up on the entrance to, there's two entrances to Heritage Hill. It's a gated community. Um, yeah, but then once I walked around the clubhouse, I kind of got the feeling like, yeah, this isn't quite what I'm ready for yet. I'm still a very young, about to be 61 in three weeks. I turned 61. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'd want to be on this busy street, but look how I, I like the, how big the lots are. You don't have something. That's the problem with so many of the places that we've looked at. There's five feet between you and the house next door. I don't, I don't really want to live that close to my neighbors, but I don't know. So here's the entrance to Heritage Hills. 
and down that lane will be a guard. Uh, you can't really see much. It's just building and building and more building everywhere you go. Yeah, look at these big yards. I'm sure within a couple years this is all going to be developed. Orange trees. We like this road. It's Williams that becomes Snyder, no, Scheidner, that becomes Davenport. I mean, look at, there's some really beautiful places. Um, there's speed bumps every, what, 50 feet maybe? So you can't go very fast. But there's some really, yeah, a little, maybe, yeah, hundred, like a football field. Let's see, these are pretty. Eek. Look at that house up there. It's nice and quiet over here. And technically this is Winter Garden. It's the far western edge of Winter Garden. I love all these trees. All the big oaks. Okay. That's the Spanish word for speed bump. Spanish word of the day, T-O-P-E, tope. There's the, the big house again from the side. Yeah, I would like to have a lot of yard. <sighs> Look at these yards. I know I'd have to cut it and all that kind of stuff, but well, sorry, all these topes. I like the porch on that one. I can see myself sitting out there. Hello everyone, and it's a new day, the end of the week, and we're gonna finish it off at Epcot. Oh, she'll just be in my picture. All right, let's see what trouble we can get up to today. Springfield and I got a Mickey pretzel to enjoy during the concert. Keep on, keep on the lights is money. It makes a lot of sense. I go hungry, I 
was a great evening with my subsonic radio friends rich judy judy's mom and dad and cliff brook and their son carter great concert we sat through the second two sets he was really good it judy nailed it on the head she said his voice seems to morph into whoever it is that he's singing a cover of that was a really bad sentence, but you know what I mean. So it was it was a lot of fun, but we just talked and talked and talked and talked, and I didn't even think to pick up the camera and film again, so I apologize for that. But that's going to be a wrap for this week, and we'll see you next Saturday. Thanks for watching, as always. Koosh.